live. Hello, how are you? We are doing three fantasy drafts at one time. These are paid drafts, $3. You know what happened to my nose. You guys are going to ask it, so let's get out of the way first. Let's cover the elephant in the room, the elephant that stomped on my face. We have a mini basketball hoop in our office. It's like one of those wall ones where you put it up and you put nails into it, and then you throw it onto there, and it's made out of wood, and it's very hard, and it hurts a lot when it gets ripped off the wall and hits you in directly in the nose. So that is what happened good people out there um we were playing a little we were playing a little ball we got a little dicey in the office um they got dunked it on me <clears throat> i no no way around it dunked it over me but when he did it he ripped the hoop down and the whole thing just went like karate chopped my whole nose bridge nasal piece so uh that wasn't fun so now i'm sitting here with like a tiger claw across my nose but regardless we're gonna fight through this is like the flu game the jordan flu game this is the nick nose game all right the nick nose drafts this will forever be known as the nose draft stream let me throw in the discord the drafts that we are doing today so here's how this is gonna work basically i just ripped three drafts on underdog and i put them into the discord they are going to be going up on twitter right now so you guys can draft with us on underdog which is the single best platform to draft on because every league is at least three dollars to join and you win money if you win the league, okay? So all these ADPs are sharp as shit. Everyone's taking it seriously. Everyone's drafting to win money. And the best part about this is if you go onto the underdog platform for the very first time, for the first time, if you're first time depositing on the platform and you use our code BDGE, BDGE, first time depositor, they're going to double whatever you throw down onto the platform. So if you put down 10, you will have 20. If you put down 40, you will have 80 and our draft guide just released, okay? And you might be able to see, you might not be able to see it, but we've got rankings for one QB, for super flex, positional. We've got the draft list. We've got the fade list. We've got strategy for every fucking pick you got in your draft. Our favorite late round targets, all the above. You're getting that email to you absolutely free if you are a first time depositor on Underdog and you use our promo code BDGE. Now, we just started working with Underdog again this year. I think it was around mid April. So, if you used it this year at any point from mid April up to now, you will also retroactively, yeah, y'all didn't think I had that word in my vocab, retroactively get the draft guide email to you as well. You should have probably already gotten it if you did that and you got emailed it or didn't check your spam folder if not you could reach out to us at business at bdge.co so that was a long-winded intro as i waited that was perfectly timed out god damn i'm good at this <sighs> let's jump into the draft so here's how it's gonna work i tweeted out three drafts and i'm gonna be flipping back and forth between the tabs so we have one draft starting in 45 seconds i have the 102 we're waiting for a few more people in the three and the eights uh, if you guys are on YouTube watching the stream right now and you are also a member of the Discord, you could jump into any of these drafts right now because the link is there. The link to join Underdog is down below. The link to join our Discord is down below. The links are all over the goddamn place. You can't miss them, okay? You can't miss them. Waiting for two people in draft number three. So I'm hoping these all start around the same time. That would be uh, relatively electric. One more, one more, boy. How's everybody doing in the comments section? If Tom Holland screws up, word on the street, Zendaya is getting back with Nick. Facts. Oh, I see people, t I see you saying I can't do fucking three drafts at once. I can't even do one draft at a time. You're not really wrong, but show some respect. I've been doing these drafts longer than you've been alive, probably. 101, we go with Justin Jefferson there. We will take Jamar Chase at the two. Let's not overthink it unless we want to take Cooper Cup. You know, I've been talking a lot of game about Cooper Cup. I just think he deserves to be in the conversation. If we get another 102 in one of these next drafts, I'm going to take Cooper Cup. But for now, we'll take Jamar Chase, him and, Joe, him and Joey B., Joey Shiesty getting Shiesty together on the field. They are going to be a tandem that you don't want to fuck with for the next 10 years. Played in college together beautifully. About to play in the NFL together beautifully for the next seven years. They're going to put up some unbelievably crispy type seasons. All right. In draft number two, we have the 106. So we have the 102. We have the 106. I'm sorry if I give you all a seizure from like jumping back and forth between tabs. And low key... The single best shortcut that I've ever learned on a MacBook is command, shift, and then the bracket. 
it automatically swaps between tabs. Command shift, bracket left, bracket right, bracket left, bracket right. You know, in like basketball uh, training camp, like, you know, in like basketball practice or, or like even football practice, when you got the coach and everybody's like doing the fucking feet shuffle thing and the coach like points one direction or the other direction and you got to like move that way as quickly as you can. That's what we'd be doing in the office. I got all my guys lined up. I'm like, get on your laptop, get on the line, you know? And I just command shift and I'm like fucking right, fucking left. And I'd better see those tabs swinging back and forth. Okay, relax, Nick. We're almost up at the 106. Jefferson Chase Cup C Mac off the board. It would be beautiful if um, if Tyreek Hill fell to me here. I don't think he's gonna. So we might have to plan otherwise. We're also waiting for one more person in this draft. Someone else join draft number three. Someone else do it. Otherwise, you're gonna ruin my entire video. We've had 35 out of 36 possible spots drafted. Oh, you're going to time out? Oh, you timed out and took Eckler? What a fool. What a fool. Give me Tyreek over Eckler all day. Tyreek's going to pop off for 1,800 yards this year. Him, Tua, and Waddler, uh, they, might just, they might just break the league. My, my early prediction, AFC East, I think Miami takes it. I think Miami takes the East. We need one more for this draft here. We need one more for draft number two. Yeah, I got a prediction that Miami takes the AFC East. I think their defense is pretty fucking good. Uh, I think their offense is going to be awesome as long as Tua can, you know, not die on the field. I'm going to move my fan over to me real quick. Give me a second. How you doing? Oh, okay. We're filled. So now we've officially got three drafts at once. I'm the 106 in this one as well. Hopefully we get a little change of pace here. Hopefully someone um hopefully someone puts me in a blender and I can't take the same players as I did in the other drafts, but things will get dicey uh soon enough. You know, I, I'm gonna be honest, I thought there was gonna be more action going on here. You know, you get three drafts going at once. I didn't think I was gonna be able to sit here for forty five minutes at a time waiting between picks. So after this one and Tyree Kill, we had Kelsey, we had Diggs, we had A.J. Brown, we got C.D. Lamb. What are we looking at here? So you're seeing a lot of these wide receivers kind of go at the turn. Lamb, Garrett Wilson, Jalen Waddell, Amon Ross St. Brown. I feel good about having the wide receiver one here because we're still going to get our choice of running backs on the three turn, the two-three turn, I think. And I love that Ramondre Stevenson is slipping. Like Ramondre Stevenson is slipping because Leonard Fournette is there. You got like you guys think Leonard Fournette is is more of a problem for Ramondre Stevenson than he is just for the backup running backs there. Like the combination of the backup running backs in New England combined for three fucking touches a game last year. I think it says more about them than it does about Ramondre. All right, things are about to get messy here because we got a two, we got a four, we got a six. This draft just kicked off. Loin took Jefferson. Final Fantasy took Chase. We got Paid took C Mac. We got Cooper Cup at the four. Dylan David Lee, how you doing? Make your pick, buddy. I don't want to be on the clock at the same time in two drafts. Kelsey, all right, you guys are going to leave me with Tyree Kill twice. I'll take him at the six all day. All day, all week, all year. All right, we're at the 2-7 here. A bunch of wide receivers are ripping off the board. And we still got... All right, so I know Saquon becomes a little bit of a risky pick here given the fact that he could end up holding out. Do I think he does? No. But would I put my life on it? Also no. Mahomes, all right, cool. You kind of made this easy for me. The top QBs went off the board, which means... Here's the thing, though. Right now, I kind of feel like I could go Jalen Hurts here and grab my QB1 and still get Ramondre in the third round, but if I go the other way, if I go Ramondre here, or any running back here, JT, Saquon, Tony Pollard, I don't know if I'll be able to get Jalen Hurts on the wraparound. So I'm going to I'm gonna be dumb here and take Hurts at the 2-7. I just think you're getting an RB1 who's probably going to have 12 touchdowns there from the line. We're up at the 2-11 here. Ooh, I like me some Tony P. I like me a little Tony P action here. We've got the QBs up there. The next guy does not have any QBs, but he is the same guy, which means he will not take two quarterbacks in a row, I don't believe. So I'll either have Hurts or Mahomes sitting there on the wraparound. 
So that's been that's been my strategy. If you guys have been watching my strategy videos the last you know few weeks, I've done a lot of those. Most of the time, we're starting off wide receiver, running back, quarterback. First three rounds, wide receiver, running back, quarterback. And I don't like to go in with that much structure. I've just done so many of these damn drafts that I kind of understand the flow of them and and I feel where the value pockets are. Oh, boy. Sorry, I'll get to some comments in a minute, I promise. I just want to uh, just want to get settled in, get some picks made. Have a good time. Get our shirts tucked, you know. Back on the clock. There you go. See, we planned it out perfectly. He took Mahomes. I'll take Hurts again. I'll take as much fucking Hurts as you want me to have. I will let it hurt how much Hurts I'm taking. Yeah. I hate that I have zero Chubb shares. Yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm with you, dude. I have like no chub and it kind of hurts. I don't get a lot of picks at like the 110, 111 where he's available. Uh, I get a ton of like 106. I get a ton of 108. I get a ton of, uh, I get a ton of like 102, 103s, but I don't get a lot of spots where Nick Chubb's available and I kind of hate it too. He just feels so good and so safe this year. The chub just feels so good. Okay, we're on the clock at the 2-7. JT just went off the board. Devontae Adams down here at the 2-7. I, I, I've I've shied away from starting wide receiver, wide receiver, but Adams doesn't typically fall to the 2-7. Saquon here feels crazy. Is he going to sit out? Do you guys think Saquon's sitting out? I just don't see a world where he does. Mm, all right, you know what? We'll fuck around with some different strategies, and I'll take Devontae Adams here and see how that two wide receiver start goes. You guys see how much better I've gotten on uh, on like just utilizing the queue instead of timing out. Someone thought I was gonna fucking I wasn't gonna be able to pull this off. All right, we're at three six. We've got Derrick Henry, Josh Jacobs, Brees Hall. Why is Derrick Henry dropping here now? Is it because of Noah's video? I'm going Brees. I'm going uh, Derrick Henry here all day. Like the the biggest concern I have with Henry, it's not really necessarily like his age. The biggest concern I have with Derrick Henry is. Um, That, that team was going to be awful, but like they've slowly pieced together a, a nice little offense after adding D Hop. Because what happens when you add a guy like D Hop is every single other player's responsibility on the offense goes down a little bit. You let D Hop take that one role, and now Burks doesn't have that pressure. Now Derrick Henry can't have the box stacked against him because you got D Hop and Burks and Chiggy and all these playmakers, man. So, um, Derrick Henry at the 3-6 feels crazy to me. Like, look at that start, man. Hurts, Henry, and Tyree Kill. Like, are you shitting me? Is you shitting me? What's your opinion on Robinson signing with the Giants? Ah, uh, it doesn't really do much for me. Robinson's a guy I'm just completely out on. Unfortunately, the NFL kind of told us we, they were out on him. He, he's been on three. This is his fourth roster in what? Like one, literally one calendar year. Jaguars, Jets, Patriots, Giants. That's that is typically uh that is typically the sign of a guy who's probably not very good. When you have four teams and you have that's one out of every eight teams. You've got what is one out of eight? Twelve and a half percent. Twelve and a half percent of the NFL is telling you that we've seen this guy up close and he's not good enough to make our roster. Usually not a great sign. So the James Robinson thing I would not look too much into. We're three picks away here at the 3-6. Now we have Tyreek Hill and we have Devontae Adams. The third round got really tricky really quickly because of the running backs. You have Brees Hall starting on the pup, which I'm not overly like I'm not overly concerned about because it's super it's relatively early and like he can be pulled off the pup anytime. It's not it's not like a huge hit to um his outlook or his projection, in my opinion. But I still definitely am concerned that Dalvin Cook goes there. So that and then Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs could definitely fucking sit out at this point. I've got no Mark Andrews. You know what? Let's just make this draft in particular like a draft that I never, ever end up going with. Let's let's go Mark Andrews here. I think this literally might be my first share of Mark Andrews. So we're starting this draft off with Tyree Kill, Devontae Adams, and Mark Andrews. And if you're new to underdog, the settings, the way this works, because we get a lot of comments, people that are new to the channel or new to like underdog and best ball 
uh, in general, the way best ball works is this. You draft a really large team. So these are 18-round drafts. Your normal draft is probably 15 or 16 rounds with your friends, family, whatever. And you draft a kicker and a defense and all that kind of stuff. In underdog, you're only drafting QBs, running backs, wide receivers, and tight ends. And then they pick a starting lineup uh, construction for you, which is one QB, two running backs, three wide receivers, one tight end, and one flex. And based on those numbers, you're drafting a really large team. And then each week, the best performing players at that volume, at that max capacity, get thrown into your starting lineup. And you get that many points for that week. Okay, And then you add up the points for all 18 weeks of the season, and whoever has the most points wins that league. So it kind of changes the strategy a little bit. Guys that are boom bust, guys that are safer, et cetera. Like maybe you don't draft handcuffs because you don't want to waste two roster spots on one position or one team. Uh, so if you're new here, again, it's the it's the single best way to prep for your actual fantasy drafts coming up end of August, end of September, because everybody's paying money to be in these leagues because you actually win money. So everyone's taking it seriously. Oh, OK. This is kind of crazy. God damn. Why y'all got to let Najee Harris fall to me at the four seven? You know, I don't like him, but like, uh he headlined my uh, idiot idiot league mates video. I'll I'll take I'll take Najee here at the four seven. His ADP is normally thirty eight. I'm getting him down at forty three, which is large in terms of like the ratio, the percentage, right? Like it's only five spots, but when you're considering we're only at pick forty three, it's it's a pretty large drop off. Like Najee, it's like Drake London, Jerry Judy, Najee Harris. Fuck up out of here! Don't try to play me for a fool. All right, we're on the clock at the 411. We've got Hurts, we've got Power, we got Chase. Uh, the running backs are kind of sexy here. The wide receivers are kind of sexy here. I don't really mind any of these options, to be quite frank with you. I'll grab Aaron Jones, and then we'll kind of just see who of our picking falls to us wide receiver wise. I don't mind Ayuk. I don't mind DJ Moore. I don't. I don't really mind any of them. So I'll be cool with them. That that's typically that turn. If I'm drafting early, like 101, 103, 104, or whatever, this four or five turn should absolutely just be used to double smash flex plays. Running back, wide receiver. There, there's a ton of value there. This guy's gonna take both of the picks I fucking wanted. I bet Papa Sean, you piece of shit. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah. Take Ayuk there. And be chilling. All right, we're back up on the clock here at the 4-7. We have a bunch of wide receivers because that's unfortunate because I kind of would have liked to take Christian Watson here. Uh, we'll say we'll take Mixon here at the 4-7. I don't I don't hate that. Mixon, they restructured his contract. And again, I just I just think since he trusts Joe Mixon, I think they realize that they overpaid the shit out of him, obviously. He's not like an overly talented player, but he's big. He could pass block, he can catch, he could run tough. Like they trust him protecting Burrow. And I think at this point, like they understand that the way the way to win the Super Bowl is to make sure Joe Burrow stays upright. They've been building up the old line. They've been building up Joe Mixon's traps. And that's where we're at now. So I think I think just by default, by volume, just by the fact that they trust him, he'll be staying on the field so much without any lack of without any actual competition with Samaj P. Ryan now, that Mixon um Mixon feels like a, a, a good play here. And uh, it's kind of nice because I needed an RB1 there. And now this team is Mixon, Tyree Kill, Devontae Adams, Mark Andrews. We're two picks away over here. We are entering the fifth round. We're at the 5-6. Still got some good wide receivers left. Let's see what the tight end position is looking like. We got my boy Ka, uh, fucking Georgie Kittle available. Hmm. Sorry, I can't get to the comments right now. We just got there's too much shit going on. Ooh, all right. Who do I want to take at receiver? I really like the running backs, but who do I want to take at receiver? Kirk, Ayuk, Godwin. I just took Ayuk. I kind of like Ayuk over Kirk just to begin with, but Kirk played real well with T-Law last year, so let's diversify the revenue a little bit. That, that's one of my favorite parts about underdogs. I do so many of these drafts, and you could do – like if you if you go and deposit 20 bucks on, on underdog right now and you use our code BDGE, you're going to have $40 to play with on your account. And that means you could enter 13 different $3 drafts from now through the end of August. And you'll be so fucking ready for your actual draft. And me doing a high volume of drafts, like when I get to a pick like that, like you literally just saw what I did there, right? Like I had the option to take 
uh, Ayuk or Christian Kirk here, and I went with Ayuk. The next pick, I had the option of going Kirk or Brandon Ayuk, and I went with Kirk there. You always diversify the revenue, diversify the portfolio, diversify your life, bitch. Greetings from Abus Dubus. What? Hang. Let's see what we got going on in the comment section. What's your take on Najee? What worries you? Uh, I'm worried that he's just bad. I'm worried that he's just like really inefficient. And typically that plays itself out. Like if you look at Eddie Lacy, if you look at, just relax with that. Then no one clipped that. If you look at Trent Richardson, if you look at these big body backs who like start out the gate really hot because they get a fuckload of volume, but they're never actually good, they tend to just fade away. They the team just stops giving them volume and they realize that there's a better back on the roster and they start moving the volume over to them. So everyone likes to talk about Najee in this um oh, there we go. We might have another shot of going Kirk Ayuk. We can grab a tight end. Oh, we already got George. Ki uh, we already got. We already got Mark Andrews. Do we want to go with the QB in the middle here? I, I haven't taken a lot of Justin Herbert because I've found myself taking a ton of elite QBs, either like Fields or Hurts, a ton. Uh, I like Dobbins. I guess him being on the pup kind of scares me. I don't really know what that's about. I think I'm gonna take Herbert here. I don't know what him being on the pup is about. I don't think he's actually injured. I've seen some rumors, some rumblings, some reports that he's actually this is more like contract related, and he's upset that he hasn't got an extension, which I don't think he deserves. Um, but it could be something related to that, and I I'm gonna go with Herbert there because of that reason for now until we get a little bit more clarity on the situation. But back to Najee, you know, I, I've talked about this uh, quite a bit throughout the summer. Everyone just like likes to say he entered the year last year with that fucking uh, thing in his foot, right? He had the screw in his foot or whatever. But if you break down all of his numbers, right? If you look at them individually outside of you know, O line, outside whatever, just like breaking tackles, um, breakaway runs, like explosive plays, his numbers efficiency are exactly the same. Rookie year, first eight, <coughs> first eight games of last year when he had the screw in his foot. Last eight games of last year when he didn't have the screw in his foot. All of his efficiency numbers, exactly the same. The thing that changed at the end of last year was that they gave him more volume. He didn't actually get better at anything. They just gave him more volume, and that led to more fantasy points. The question does become, like, did they give him more volume because the screw was out? Maybe, and that could feed into this year. But I also think Jalen Warren's kind of a fucking ball player, bro. I think he's going to be kind of nice. All right, so we're sitting here at, here at the fucking 611. And I really like Mike Evans, and I also really like Dallas Goddard, but I kind of think there's a fucking massive drop-off, in my opinion, from Mike Evans down to the next uh, wide receiver. So I'm going to take him there and worry about my tight end later because I'm assuming Mr. Papa Sean's going to take Goddard with one of these two picks. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with letting Goddard slide, even though I have Jalen Hurts. Fuck. See, that's the, that's the one thing if you're drafting – three fucking teams at once, you start to let the little details slip a little bit. You start to let the little things in life pass you by, and then you don't hit that Hurts Dallas Goddard stack. Goddamn, goddamn, goddamn. I got played. And we're back on the clock. Uh, Y'all like Darren Waller? Like, I'm so out on him this year, but, but maybe I should diversify a little bit. So we took Evans. We could take Addison, Jahan Dotson, Gabe Davis. Eh, we could chill here for a while. Mm, maybe I should have gone with him. Man, I don't love the wide receiver options here. I'm gonna take Dotson. I feel I feel about as comfortable about Dotson being like a really solid player this year as anyone on the list. Tony's gonna be extremely boom bust. Gabe Davis gonna be boom bust. Traylon Burks is who knows what his role is gonna be with D Hop there now. Quentin Johnson very boom bust. Um. I'd like to say Addison's not boom bust. I don't like the speeding shit that he just got into. So, like, I feel good about Jahan Dotson ending up with, like, 900 yards and six touchdowns. Bike on the clock here at the 6-7. Got two running backs. Oh, there's still a lot of good running backs available. Now, I, maybe I should take Goddard here. There's still some good fucking receivers, too. All right. You know what? Let's take Goddard here because we just passed up on him in the last one. Even though I feel... I feel I feel relatively shitty about passing up on Michael Pittman and Mike Evans here, but and Damian Pierce. Hate to see it. We'll bike on the clock here. Let's see. We got Herbert. We got Mixon, Tyreek Hill, Devontae Adams, Mark Andrews. 
We don't necessarily need another running back right now. Um, I actually really like the wide receiver option still available. We have Lockett. We got Pittman. I'm going to take Lockett here. Lockett's a fucking dog. Actually, you know, it was pretty cool. I think, uh, was it Matt Harmon tweeting it out? Matt Harmon was tweeting about Tyler Lockett. And he's been, you know, he does reception perception, one of the, like, the best products in fantasy football right now. And he was tweeting about Tyler Lockett. He basically, he, he, um, he graded out Tyler Lockett and looked through his routes from last year. And hopefully I can find it. How much, how much does this motherfucker tweet? God damn. Tyler Lockett, 2022 reception perception profile is up on the site. 96 percentile and career best success rate versus man coverage. He's already a beast versus man coverage. He always has been. Look at those numbers. 96th, 86th, 84th percentile against man zone press. I don't like th- these these numbers. I don't think you guys probably realize this, but these are the type of numbers you see when you go to like Devonte Adams's and Stefan Diggs's profile. Tyler Lockett is still as good as he's ever been. He doesn't get hit. He doesn't take big shots. He doesn't miss time. He's played 16 games like almost every fucking year the last seven years. Tyler Lockett is just it's just so disrespectful that he keeps going this late. All right, got a little time to hit the chat. You like Daniel Jones or Kirk Cousins better? I personally like Kirk Cousins better. I think the floor is super fucking high. Um, he's coming off his career high in pass attempts. Got a great receiving core. Yeah, I'm, I'm all in on Kirk. Why are you working on a Saturday, bro? Why not? I'll fucking work tomorrow, too. I'll work every goddamn day. If they gave me an eighth day of the week, I'd be working it, too. Fuck you think this is, boy? Oh, we got to take a wide receiver here. Ah. I don't I don't love how this team is turning out. Uh Pickens, Burks, Quentin Johnson. No one no one feels great here. No one feels great here. I'll take I'll take Pickens, I guess. He's 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 a he's a breakout candidate. I don't feel great about it. He kind of just feels like the next Gabe Davis ish. But you know, maybe I'm wrong. I've been wrong every once in a while. A healthy Najee can be top five, in my opinion. I think he was dealing with the – yeah, I mean, I tried to cover the Liz Frank thing as much as I possibly could. The other thing with Najee was, like, the, it was so obvious to see the downfall coming. Is His rookie year, he caught a million passes because Big Ben only checked down. They had the single highest pass rate in the NFL among any team, and then they moved to Mitch Trubisky, and it was like there's no way that they were going to keep that pass rate up. They don't want to be the most pass-heavy team in the NFL with Mitch Trubisky at quarterback. So you add George Pickens to the group. And you take away Big Ben, and obviously the target numbers were coming down dramatically. So Najee, there's no chance he gets back to top five with the type of volume he gets in the passing game now, and especially with Jalen Warren being in there. So do I think he could still be like a top 12 running back? Do I think he can end the year as like the RB10 or 11? Yes, because he'll probably get like 270 carries. If his touchdowns end up being like six rushing touchdowns and one receiving, he won't be there. But if he ends up, you know, kind of just like rolling into 10 rushing touchdowns and a receiving touchdown, then, yeah, he could definitely get there. But his upside is not what it was his rookie year because he, does just, he the offense and him are just not set up to catch that that kind of volume of passes. Whew. 7-6. Oh, Pittman fucking still chilling there. Damn, I need another running back, though. Ah, fuck it. Let's rip Pittman. I still like Pittman. I still think Pittman's a good player. I think most of his woes last year had to do with uh, the QB situation, not not him. Ooh, Trevor Lawrence dropping here too. All right, this is not a Christian Kirk team, so I don't feel bad about not stacking here. Are you guys going to be doing meetups again this season? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure we'll try to do some sheesh. Can we see the graph version of the draft? Yeah, let me uh, – do we have enough time? Hmm. I could put it up on here. Can you guys see that? I think you can see it. Two picks away over here. I should have just kept my ass in the top right corner the whole time. The fuck am I doing? Boy. All 
Alright, we're about to be up at the 811. We don't have a tight end yet. We don't have a third running back, which I'm okay with. There's two guys I like here that are still left on the board. Make your move, Dylan. Make your move, kid. Hell yeah, that's what you get for timing out. Yeah, I'll take Kamara here for show. Take AK, 47. I think Kamara probably gets suspended, but I'm a little less concerned about Kendra Miller taking over. With I feel like the offseason has not been good for him. Showed up out of shape. He's been getting back from an injury. I don't like the momentum. I don't like the vibes there. So I'll take AK here all day. Girl. Come on, Papa. Come on, Big Papa. Sky Moore. I know who I want. Don't play with me. Let's go. All right, we got Ingram. We got our tight end one. I love Ingram this year, man. I love him. I don't care how crowded that room is. He was so good with fucking... Uh, T Law last year. All right, we got 15 seconds left on the clock here. We got Hurts. We got two running backs. We got three wide receivers. Do we grab it? Do we just grab AK again? Ooh, people are out on Baltimore receivers altogether. Bateman, you're already dealing. What? What do you? What are you fucking on the pup list already for? Listen, if Rashad Bateman is is injured already, maybe Zay Flowers is the play here in Baltimore. Maybe I've been wrong about everything I've ever talked about. Maybe. Oh, but maybe we're not up for 10 more picks on any draft. This is kind of sexy. Let's go, boy. I'll throw up I'll throw up this here for y'all so you can look at the draft while I answer some cues. ETN or Ramondre in a Superflex dynasty. Oh, uh <sighs> I think I think I would probably take ETN long term. I would take Ramondre absolutely over ETN in uh in redraft this year, but like this feels kind of like a perfect storm season for Ramondre where everything's lined up for him to be a fucking beast, him to be really really good, but I don't know if I trust the situation there in New England long term. Like if they brought in another running back or drafted one in the second or third round, what the fuck? How am I on the clock again? I thought it was 12 picks away. What the f Fuck. Damn it. The 8 7. Who would I take? What are you, we doing? What are we doing? I thought I was 12 picks away. Did you guys just go like rapid mode on me? I thought I was looking at the tabs and it said 12, 10 picks away. Oh my God. Oh my God. Whatever. I got Burks. Not who I would have went with if I got to redo that pick. I'm not going to say it because maybe he'll fall to me, but I doubt it. Fuck. You on the clock. All right. Damn. Played myself. What is your favorite position to draft from? I like drafting at the end of the first, honestly, because you get a really good wide receiver and a really good running back. You could start with like Diggs Chubb or Diggs Taylor or something like that. I think if you go early on and you do get like Jefferson Chase Cup, that's cool. But then, you know, you're kind of getting a little risky with the running backs. Like, yo, Tony Pollard could certainly be a fucking beast this year for you. But I also think he's a little bit more risky. You know what I'm saying? So I, I kind of like the end of the drafts. Kind of like, you know, anywhere from like 7 to 10. Do you play only redraft leagues or do you auction leagues as well? Uh, well, I think redraft, The I, I think what redraft is, is uh, redraft just means like you're playing a one-year stint. I think auction is redraft. It's just the different, like it, it would be snake versus auction. But no, I don't play any auction leagues, unfortunately. I got to get in a couple though. Everyone always asks me about them shits, and I never do. God damn it. All right. Well, I wanted uh, – who did I want? Wait. Oh, this isn't even the same fucking draft. Sheesh. Hurts, Henry, Najee. We got two fat running backs. Do we take a third fat running back? Let's just do the all-fat running back team. 
I'm going to take Bateman here at the nine six, man. I'm 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 uh, I'm just I'm just not going to let him slide much further for me. <sighs> Dylan's all right. Samaje is cool too, but Bateman for me is another tier above those dudes. Fuck. All right. Well, now I can tell you Pacheco. I really want a Pacheco there at the eight seven because I only have one running back right now and we got five receivers. I mean, the receiver room is fucking delicious. But I need a running back, so let's talk about it. We can have Gibson. We can have Charbonnet. We could have Dylan here. Uh, I think I like Gibson. I feel like we know his role is pretty secured in that backfield. I think we know he's the pass catching back. With we, you know, B. Rob's the early down guy. So Charbonnet, we're not actually sure yet what his role is going to be. Like we know Kenneth Walker is the best running back in that backfield. There's a chance that Kenneth Walker is just the guy the entire year. Right? Like everybody's so off Kenneth Walker, they just assume it's a committee. There's also a chance that it just doesn't happen there. You know, there have been crazier things than a third round or second round running back just not being that good. Um, so Gibson, I feel a little bit more. I feel a little bit more comfortable with his role in Charbonnet's, but but I don't. I don't think Charbonnet's a bad pick here, ninth, tenth, eleventh round though. Nick sounding like 2013 chance the rapper. Ah, ah. You add on Kelsey in the mid first. Yeah, not not really because I don't think like I'm obviously he's worth it because he's just so fucking good. But like I I just don't really want to build my team around a tight end. Just started my first 14 team league. Started with Bijan, Jay Taylor, C Ridley, and Mark Andrews, Jay or Nay at the 11th spot. Yeah, I fucking love that. I like that a lot. Yeah, it's it's a sexy start. I like the well roundedness, diversity. Nick, what round Christian Watson? Uh let's see where I got him ranked. In my rankings, I have him as the wide receiver twenty. Let me find the overall rankings. Again, all my rankings are in the draft guide, which you can get on BDGE.shop if you're not in a state that underdog has available. But if you have never deposited on underdog and you use the code BDGE the first time you do so, $10 or more, you will get our draft guide emailed to you absolutely free. Goddamn, where are the rankings? Holy sheesh kebab. Uh, there we go. One QB overall rankings. Christian Watson is my 51st overall ranked player in Superflex. He is my 61st overall ranked player. 51st would put him right at that 4-5 uh, that turn. 61st would put him right around the 5-6 turn. So... That's where I'm looking at him. Oh, we are almost on the clock. Things are s spicy. We got one pick away, two picks away, and four picks away. Here, we're pretty well-rounded here. We got our tight end. We got our QB. We got our running backs. We got our receivers. So we're not really forced to go anywhere. I do like Zay Jones a bit. Uh, I like Khalil. Gino is a good fucking QB too. Also, do I have any Seattle wide receivers? No, this is not the Tyler Lockett team. So I'll I'll grab a fifth wide receiver because uh, you do start three wide receivers here. So I'd like to go wide receiver heavy. All right, we're on the clock here. We have five wide receivers again. We have a tight end. Uh, we definitely need some running back action here. I'm going to take Herbert here. I think Herbert will be the starter for Chicago. I think Elijah Mitchell is probably a good pick here. I really like Devon A. Chain after the draft. I, I just am still like nervous about what his role is actually going to be in that offense. So I'm kind of staying away unless he drops a little bit later into drafts. Oh, B. Rob, B. Rob at the ten seven, that's fucking phenomenal value. When guys like Juju Smith Schuster and Nico Collins are the wide receivers left, and we already have five. Whoo! I love how this team is turning out. We got the Hertz. This is my favorite team I'm drafting right now for sure. We got the Hertz and Goddard stack. We got Derrick Henry, Najee, and Brian Robinson at running back while having Tyreek Hill, Christian Kirk, Pickens, Flowers, Bateman. Oh, we went double Baltimore wide receiver, huh? We might have done fucked up there. All right. Where are we at with this? Uh, I'll take Elijah Mitchell here. I think at wide receiver, tight end. Is there a tight end that we love? Not here. Not at the 11-2 yet. Uh, I like Chiggy, obviously. I like Kincaid, but I think I could wait on tight end rather than reaching for them over a running back here. Yeah, we'll t we'll, we'll take Elijah. I think Elijah is just going to be... I know c Max is going to go fucking bonkers this year if he stays healthy, but um, Elijah Mitchell, I think, will get, uh, we'll get a, a decent amount of touches. 
I wonder what draft's going to finish first. Yeah. We are cooking right now. Three picks away, three picks away. It's so one piece of advice I can give you while doing these drafts. Utilize the queue. One pick away. Oh, shit. Which one's going to happen first? There goes Chiggy. I like Zay more here. Maybe I should take a QB, though. A second QB. I've taken, like, no Aaron Rodgers. I, I really... I, I don't know. I'm just not high on him. I think he'll be fine for the Jets. I just... I, statistically, I'm just, like, not there with him again. Kind of like Goff. I'll take Zay Jones again. Fuck it. I'll take as much Zay Jones as I could humanly possibly handle. Ooh, all right. We're in the 11th. I actually think I'm going to take my QB2 here because we didn't get like an elite, elite QB. We got Justin Herbert rather than like a Hertz or a Josh Allen or one of those guys or even Fields. So I will pair him with another guy that I feel fine about. And Daniel Jones, obviously, he'll have his upside weeks because he runs the ball a lot. Man, I thought you were at Rio. Yeah, I'd be throwing Instagram stories out there like that just to keep people on their toes, you know? Also, in case there's any, like, cute Brazilian girls that just check, like, the Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro. Rio, Rio de Janeiro. Why did I just have so much trouble saying that? Rio de Janeiro story, you know? And they hit me up like, hey, you're in Rio? I'm like, nah. Thoughts on Ridley in the late third? Yep, that's probably around where he's gone, the 3-4 turn. I'd be okay with it. Obviously, the later you get him, the better. But how much money for you to do my league's draft order? We need to be on Cameo. I, I think we're going to get on Cameo this week or something so that we could do that for you guys. Why is Bijan worth such a high pick? Because he is like the most talented running back we've seen in quite a while. Um, Arthur Smith. Is going to feed him 350 touches. He's an excellent pass catcher. Atlanta has the best run blocking line in the NFL. They were one of the highest rate rushing teams in the NFL last year. They don't have a quarterback, so they're going to have to lean on the running back position. Um, I could probably go for like another hour if you want, but that's pretty simply put why. 10 team PPR. In light of recent running back shenanigans, do you think Pollard still makes it to the 209? Uh,. I, I do. I, I think at least in like half half leagues, he'll, he will make it there. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys are chilling, you've been here for a minute, you know, hit that thumbs up. We got almost like 230 people in here, but only 37 thumbs up, which I find to be unbelievably disrespectful. But, you know, I'm, that's just one man's humble opinion. Do you think taking a conquo in the seventh eighth round is too much of a gambler do you think no nah, I, I think that's way too fucking early for chiggy live stream dynasty offer just sent all right all right i'll check it out i got this string of picks right here once we get past this fucking death row of picks i'll go check out what you offered me tony we got a live dynasty off live dynasty trade offered to me on air on yard do we need another tight end here? Ooh, you know, I've talked about Higby. I don't hate Higby. And we've got a lot of teams coming up soon that uh, don't have a tight end. So I don't think these guys are going to last very long. So I'm going to take Higby here. I'd be fine with ever. I'm honestly, I, I'd be fine with any of these dudes. Uh, Higby, Everett, Cole Komet. Any of those three, I'd be cool with my tight end too. We're on the clock here. Do we have a second QB? No, we don't. Jared Goff is still sitting there looking precious. Looking precious. Ooh, Everett's there too. 
Uh, you know what? We just did the tight end thing, so let's do the quarterback thing. We'll take Goff, and now we're chilling. So let's, let's wait till this pick goes. We got one pick, and then I will. Oh no, I'll do this turn here, and then we'll get to. Let me... wait, that's not it. Where did it, wait? What lead? Oh, you're in go fade me. That's right. Come on, Dylan. You keep fucking timing out, my guy. Be better. Be better. Do we have any wide receivers we love? Not necessarily. Not when we have Philly. Now we got Hertz as the QB. We can grab another running back. Kind of want to grab a second tight end, I think. We just did grab Higby, so I think I'm going to pivot and go commit here to diversify that revenue. Let's check out the trades. All right, here's an interesting one. I got I got a trade. This is not the one that Tony was uh, referring to, but young Codine offered me Zay Jones, Gabe Davis, his third and fourth, which are he's tanking right now. So that will probably be the three, two, four, two or three, one, four, one. And then I give up McBride, my second, my third, which I'm projecting to be maybe like the two oh eight and the three oh eight. Now, this is a half PPR league. It's no tight end premium. I have David and Joko as my starter. So I'm actually seriously considering this. I'm probably giving away the most valuable asset in McBride as like a young tight end that could break out. But I, I feel like I'm getting enough value with Zay Jones and Gabe Davis and like padding my depth at wide receiver. Uh, so I'm considering that offer. We'll look at Tony's in a second. How the fuck did all these picks just come back so quickly? God damn. Oh, nice stack there, Pop Sean with Higby and Stafford. Didn't hate what you did there. I didn't hate it whatsoever. Do we take Russ? We got no Denver teams. Hmm. Who you guys like more this year, Russ or uh, Russ or Derek Carr? It's so hard to buy back into Russ. Ugh. Whatever, fuck him. How are we one pick away everywhere? Dylan, you're in all of these leagues, in all these drafts, and you don't make any picks. What are we doing? What are we doing? Ooh, okay. Running back wise. This this the good running back team we got. Do we grab a tight end here instead? Taysom, what you doing, man? Sitting there fucking in the thirteenth round. I think Gallup's probably my favorite player on the board, so I might just take him. Yeah, fuck it. I'll take Gallup. Then we'll be done with wide receivers. Uh, oh, you took Rashi Rice, god damn it. Kinda wanted him there. All right, all right, we'll take Alec Pierce. Let's check out this trade. All right, so you're giving me Elijah Moore in a second. I'm giving you my first. Hell no. If I'm giving up my first round pick, it's like I need a, I need a player, you know? I need a player. What is on my back? They're full. Nah, Elijah Moore ain't going to get it done for a first. I'm sorry. I don't even know what uh, what kind of picks are we talking here? You have your own pick, Tony, and what? What's your team look like? Tony's team is. Oh, you're tanking. You're you're in Tank City right now. So you're in Tank City. So that second, as long as it's yours, is it yours? Ugh, the sleeper like online app is fucking. Their website is so whack. You can't even figure out how to get to your goddamn team. So that that'll probably be like the two one. And if my team can do well, that first might actually be might be late. That might be a late first. That could be like the 110, 111. So it's almost like I'm getting Elijah Moore. If things break right, it's almost like I'm getting Elijah Moore to move back three spots. Hmm. That's another one I can consider. I need to look a little bit more into it, but I don't have time right now to fucking do it. I'm on the clock. You're playing me for a fool, and it's working. Want to hop in another after these? Hell no. Are you nuts? I'm going to fucking pass away. I'm going to need to go to the hospital after this. Why such an Aaron Rodgers hater? I'm not a hater. I just like, I I, I just, I, I don't think the weapons are great outside of Wilson. I, I think the offensive line's probably overrated. Makai Becton can never stay healthy. 
new system, new offense. His offense is always so slow paced. Like, I think he'll be good for them. Like, I think they'll be a good team. I just, I, I don't think Rodgers makes them a Super Bowl contender, though. You know, like the hype, I feel like has outweighed what 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 reality is there. Delivering mail, just listening, hit that. Hell yeah, bro, that's fucking incredible. You're out here delivering mail with this in your headphones. I love to hear that, man. That I don't know why that just warms my heart. It really does. How much are these drafts? Uh, the ones that I'm in right now are three dollars. But the cool part about Underdog is you can do. They have so many fucking cool options to draft from. Like Best Ball Mania right here is a twenty five dollar entry, but first place is three million dollars. $3 million. But they also have tournaments that are $3 entries. Like the Pomeranian 2, I think just launched. These things fill out so fucking fast. This is a $3 entry, and first place gets $30,000. So you're competing against all the other people in it, obviously. But first place is $30,000 for a $3,000 entry. 10000 to second place, or 15000 to second place. They have all these different type of tournaments, which are so fucking fun to play in. And you can do slow drafts. So you don't have to sit here and do 30 second between pick drafts. You could do slow eight hour drafts. So if you're doing other shit, your phone just gives you a notification when you're on the clock and you have eight hours to make your pick. The slow puppy is awesome. Mass it like these tournaments are great, but you could also just go to the NFL tab up here and go to any of the typical drafts like three dollar draft here um, and then just join, you know, this little clock means it's a slow draft, but you could always hit info here and it shows you pick clock eight hours right here. So that's a slow draft. And we're on the clock right now. Speaking of, oh, we need we need running back help bad. Oh, give me Zeke all day. Give me Zeke baby all day. I like Juwan Johnson too. Actually, you know what? Here's what I'm here's what I'm gonna do. No, uh, no, we're gonna go this way. We got our tight ends. We don't necessarily need another wide receiver right now. Yeah, to Foreman. I feel like he's kind of nice. I'm going Jeff Wilson. I feel like Jeff Wilson's going to make another run this year somehow. He's going to be kind of good for fantasy. He's the only back above like 190 pounds in that backfield. Um, but yeah, you could do three dollar drafts that are 12 people here. You could do uh, five dollar drafts that are fucking 12 people. They they have it's just so much customizability on here. You could really do whatever kind of drafts you want. And the UI on their on their mobile app is fucking it's, it's awesome. It's so smooth. I would suggest drafting on there. But you could do it either way. It don't, it don't matter. All right. So what are we in the 14th round, 15th round of these drafts? We're at the 14-7 there. We're at the 14-11 here. And we're at the 14-7 here. Wow. Pretty even. Pretty even. Car safer. Russ has higher ceiling. Refresh a trade when you see it. Ooh. Ooh. What do we got? We got a new offer? You throwing even more at me? You getting scandalous? What do you mean, refresh the trade? It's not the same? Ain't no the same thing? Shit offer sent. What are you guys sending me shit for? I ate pieces of shit like you for dinner. Hit 100K this all. We're going to hit 100K within the next two weeks, I think. Maybe in a week. Huge. I need... I need oh, no. Did we just time out? Oh, no, we didn't. We're straight. Bam. Wide receiver. Hmm. We got two quarterbacks already. We got two tight ends. We could use a – we'll probably grab a third tight end. I think my strategy typically is to go – you can either go three QBs or three, or three tight ends, and I'll usually go – if I get an elite quarterback like Hurts, I'll just end up being two quarterbacks, and then I'll go three tight ends, uh, vice versa, depending on the talent that I have at the position. I went with DJ Chark there. I don't know what's going to happen in Carolina, but I, th I think there's Chark is just as good a chance as any receiver on that roster to be the one there by the end of the year. Let's see. What do we got? We already have our two QBs. Another example, we got Hurts. We got Jones. We don't necessarily need another quarterback. Go with another tight end. We do have a couple. We do have Andrews already, who's kind of elite. I don't hate DPJ here either. Say Hodgins. Mm. Do we like Juwan Johnson as our tight end three or DPJ as our wide receiver seven? Do we have any Cleveland action already? No, we don't. Do we have any New Orleans action already? Also, no. So 
It's kind of just raw pound for pound. Oh, my God. I'm on the clock for every draft. Oh. oh. All right. We queued up. We're queued up. We're not queued up there. Uh, let's go DPJ. Yeah, fuck it. Okay. Let's see. Got two QBs. Should we go with Chark again? No, we already have seven wide receivers. Moster. Uh, oh, no. Fuck. All right. We took Gainwell. I actually hate that pick. I'm, I'm just, I'm so, I'm so off Gainwell this year, but whatever. I guess we needed another running back. Easiest way to spend a ban in $3 increments. Facts. 100%. Somehow you'll end up spending. Eight thousand dollars on this platform in th in three dollar increments. Would you still take an elite QB in a fourteen man if you have to take them late second, or would you switch up your strategy? Uh, I I would be fine with it. Yeah, I would. I actually think the smaller your league, the less you need the quarterback because there's there like if you're in an eight team or a ten team league, think about it the amount of guys that will go undrafted that you'll be able to pick up off the waiver wire are much higher. The bigger the teams, the less quarterbacks are typically drafted, so you don't have any other options. If your QB ends up stinking or just being average, you don't really have a chance to go for a high upside guy on the waiver wire. So I actually think um, if you can get your elite guy, I'm, I'm, I'm completely fine with that in a 14-team league. I like the idea of a 1K best ball draft when you hit 100K. God damn it. I feel like I was supposed to earn something fun, like a celebration, and now I have to spend $1,000. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Most are going to get hurt in three weeks. Yeah, like I, I have no trust in him being on the field for a long period of time, so I think it's going to be Wilson and A-Chain. Boy. I'm in nine slow drafts right now. That's what I'm talking about right there. The best way to do underdog, I, I pro my favorite way to really experience underdog is actually like throw 25 bucks in your account and then just join eight slow drafts at once. It's awesome. You never feel rushed. You just get notifications and you're like, cool, I'm on the clock. An hour later, I'm on the clock. 22 minutes later, I'm on the clock. Like it's just life is fucking good. Life is good. I'm going to be honest. I haven't felt this good in fucking years. Maybe ever. It's because of you guys. I appreciate every one of you guys. You guys are the best. <sighs> oh, you son of a bitch. Anna, I know you're creeping out there and you took my man's Isaiah Hodgins. I don't appreciate that shit. I don't appreciate that shit. Hey, uh, don't take Jalen Hyatt, guys. Just like, just just a word of advice, just general advice. Don't do that. Uh, Zamir White. I feel like Zamir White should probably start getting drafted a little higher. Like, I feel like we should start being a little bit worried about... Um, Josh Jacobs here and, and take Zamir White, you know? Like, we should probably stop letting him fall in drafts. Just going to throw that out there. Don't do that. Don't, don't fucking patronize me. Go. Fake titties versus real titties. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Um... Damn, I'm really leaving that comment on the screen while I make this pick. What tight end do I want? Hayden Hurst, who's going to be a safe, nice floor player. Isaiah Likely, which is a completely upside guy. I feel like McBride's kind of a nice middle ground player there. So I'm going to take McBride there. So I dated a girl that had fake boobs for like two years. It's kind of tough. They look, they look really good, you know, but like from a functional, practical standpoint, not great. We'll take the real thing. You know what's crazy? Do you ever watch the past drafts you've done and cringe at your picks, like in your main league, not underdog? No, hell no. I don't watch back my content ever because I will cringe so hard. I wouldn't. I don't think I'd cringe at the picks, you know? 
because at the time, I think I was just making the best picks, but I'll cringe at content about how bad of a content creator I've been over the years, you know? And like, th if I were to rewatch this video in two years, I'd be like, Nick, what are you doing? You know, why is your shirt fucking tucked in? Why are you flexing your traps every three minutes? Why are you doing three drafts at once? Why are you talking about fake titties on air? You know, like, <sighs> it's insane. Speak easy. What's up, baby? That's such a hot jersey you got. That's a Grizzly, right? I can only see like a little portion of it. it looks like the Grizz, uh, the Grizz throw bike. Two picks away, 17th round. How we doing? One pick away, 16th round. We're at the 16-11. I might take another QB eventually here. Dude, the running backs are so bad at this point in the draft. There's like no unusual. I would suggest not letting... I would suggest having five running backs by the time you get to the 16th round because most of these guys are fucking unusable, like legitimately unfucking usable. Oh, God. Yeah, I'll take Ritter over Howell. Fuck it. The weapons are so much better. They're so much better. Terrace Marshall, another guy I'm okay with. Like I like DJ Chark, but also just as good a chance he ends up leading the league or leading the team in targets. You know what I'm saying? So like T Marsh, let's get it. T Marsh, less signed T Grizzly. I love T Grizz, but T Marsh, good good guy too. Oh, it's a Pistons jersey. All right, I done fucked up. Uh, been using ESPN, seeing Mahomes and Waddle fall to mid third thoughts. I mean, Mahomes is going like third here. I think no. Maybe sometimes or maybe sometimes late second, but it makes sense. Waddle in the third though is fucking such an easy pick for me. I'm gonna grab likely here, get my third tight end. I haven't done a, like a three tight end, three QB build in quite a while, but I feel good about this team. I feel like our running backs are nice. We actually definitely need to get another running back because we have Kamara here. Shit. All right, we're at the 17 6 here. Why do I only have tight ends in my queue? I feel like we need. What do we need? Actually, we don't really need anything on this team. All right, so we took Trey McBride in one draft. We took Isaiah Likely in another, and we'll grab Hayden Hurst. Three of my favorite late round tight ends. Bet. Cool. Should my first round pick be quarterback in an eight team super flex PPR? Uh, I, I don't. In that small of a league, I don't think you need to do that, no. Um, I guess it would depend on what pick you have. It would depend on who falls to you. You know, if you're at, like, the eight pick and Jalen Hurts falls there or something, like, yeah, I would I, I would take him, but I don't, I don't think it's completely necessary in that small of a league. Super Chat. Yo, what up, fam? Been following you for years. Congrats on that inevitable 100K. Big dogs got to eat. Have a mark or two on me to celebrate running BGD leagues this year, next year for subscribers. Hell yeah. Um, we will have the NYC draft weekend. Uh, first of all, thank you, dude. Um, I've I, I'm your name and your profile, and I, I'm pretty sure you're a content creator. You make content uh, about Tesla. You've been you've been part of the brand for quite a while. Um, so thank you, first of all, for the super chat. That means a lot. Uh, second of all, in terms of leagues with subscribers and stuff, I have the NYC draft weekend that we do, obviously, which I actually want to tell you guys a story about, which is kind of funny. Let me grab someone else here first, though. This team's pretty fucking strong, too. Actually, the running backs are kind of shit. I'll take Keontae Ingram. I think he's the two on that depth chart. Like, I don't think there's anyone else that's above him on the depth chart besides James Conner. So, so fuck it, I guess. All right. Well, that's that 18th pick, I think, whatever. Um, so you're asking about subscriber league. So we do the NYC draft weekend, obviously. 
uh, which is like the focus of my subscriber leagues. I don't know if we'll do any like normal, just like regular sub leagues. We will be starting a dynasty, which I've already a dynasty startup, which with the guys in the office. And I've already promised like two or three people in the discord uh, spots in it. So I don't know how many we have open for that, but we probably will do something to give away like the three or four remaining spots. I'm not sure what it's going to be, if it's a contest or a giveaway or uh, how we're exactly going to do it. But I think the only one we'll probably run is like a dynasty startup that would be available to you guys. So I, I think we'll probably announce something within like the next two weeks. So I would just say, make sure you're following us on uh, TikTok and Twitter, Instagram, whatever YouTube. I'll try to announce it everywhere I can. CEH sleeper sleeper. Yes. By that, I mean like absolutely putting me asleep. Who's going to take down Matt and Trivia? Uh, I just want to say, played him twice this week, and I beat him both times. I don't think, I don't know when those come out. They're supposed to be Guts Trivias. Are they coming out today? I don't know when they're coming out, but we, there's there's a couple trivs that I that I fucking wipe Matt with. So fuck them. Oh, are we on the 18th pick? We're on the 18th pick here. Do we need another running back? Eh, kind of. We got three tight ends. We got the two QBs I feel good about. So we don't need to push anything there. Who's the RB2 in LA right now? Is it Josh Kelly again? I guess Josh Kelly's not like the worst 18th round pick. Oh, wait, did they just sign somebody? No, they didn't, right? No, they didn't sign anybody. What a what an uninspiring last round pick. It's only one call away. Were the interns already in the area, or did they relocate for the opportunity? Uh, two of them are. One of them is in Long Island. One of them's in Philly, and Jameson was from Florida and relocated here, so they're kind of all over the place. Jameson's here now. Uh, Gut, who's from Philly, commutes pretty fucking far. I think it's like two and a half hours to uh, two and a half hours to get to the office, something like that. And then Matt, I want to say, is like an hour, kind of like a straight shot from Long Island to the city. I think we got one more pick to make. Then we'll wrap up the teams. We'll go through them. And then, uh, and then we'll send you off on your days to have a fucking wonderful Saturday. Hmm, what do we like here? Oh, I need some I need another running back bed. Corderell. We got Pierre Strong. What about Michael Carter? If, Brees, if Dalvin Cook gets suspended, doesn't get signed because of it. Brees Hall's not ready for the beginning of the season. They did say Carter was the two on the depth chart. I don't hate that. I don't hate it. Jamal. Right, well, we'll let that. I'll probably pick them in that order. So we'll let that time clock out and we'll look at the team over here. So the first team I drafted from the 106. We got Tyree Kill, Jalen Hurts, Derrick Henry, Najee Harris, Christian Kirk, Dallas Goddard, George Pickens, Zay Flower, Rashad Bateman, Brian Robinson, Zay Jones, Jared Goff, Michael Gallup, Zeke Gainwell, Trey McBrizzy, Hayden Hurst, and Josh Kelly. I don't hate that team at all. I tell you what, I feel like I've been drafting pretty well this 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 uh this summer on underdog. There are not a lot of teams I draft that I, I genuinely dislike, which is usually not the case. So that's team number one. Team number two, we drafted from the 106 also. We got Terry Kill, Devontae Adams, Mark Andrews, Joe Mixon, Justin Herbert, Tyler Lockett, Michael Pittman, Traylon Burks, Antonio Gibson. Khalil Herbert, Daniel Jones, Tyler Higbeast, Alec Pearson, Steen, Jeff Wilstein, Jawan Johnstein, Zamir White, Terrace Marshall, and Keontae Ingram. And the last team, 
We grabbed Pierre Strong because Marola took Quirrell Patterson, you dirty dog. You, we were driving from the 102. We got Chase, Pollard, Hertz, Aaron Jones, Brandon Ayuk, Mike Evans, Jahan Dotstein, Cal, I almost called him Calvin Amara, Alvin Kamara, Evan Ingram, Zay Jones, Elijah Mitchell, Cole Komet, Russell Wilson, DJ Chark, Isaiah Hodgins, Desmond Ritter, Isaiah Likely, and Pierre Strong. So we finished strong. And we will end on this. Nick, the draft guide isn't in my email, and I used a promo code yesterday. What do I do, my brother? Oh, okay. So there was a time period between when I released that video yesterday saying to sign up to get the draft guide for free, which you guys can do right now if you go to Underdog Fantasy or use a link down below. It takes you right to the app store. Use promo code BDGE. First time depositing will get you the draft guide for free plus 100% deposit match on Underdog. Whatever you put down, it'll double it. Uh, there was a, like a three, four-hour period before – the auto email was actually set live by the underdog team and when I announced it to you guys. So there was like whoever signed up within those three hours did not get on the email for the original one. Uh, so if you're in that, you can email us at business at bdge.co, not dot com, dot co, business at bdge.co, and I will send the draft guide over to you, but your email will now be on the underdog email list. So going forward, any updates over the summer when rankings change, etc., you will be emailed out the updated version of the draft guide. And again, if you live in a state that does not currently allow you to sign up for underdog, you can cop the draft guide at bdge.shop. bdge.shop. It's up there. Faux sale. That's it. Um, all right, I got to go. I'm actually heading back to Jersey. I got to hop on a train right now. So thank you guys for hanging out today. We do these streams every Saturday as well as every Thursday. Uh, so if you want to hang out while we do those, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're close to hundred K man. We're so fucking close. I could smell it. I'm out of here. I love y'all.